Hi, I'm Troy from Studio 33 Guitar. Thanks for watching. Recently, I recorded a video called Five Easy Guitar Chords You Probably Don't Know. I got a good response from that video and people were asking if there was some more chords that I could show that might be unfamiliar to people. So here's five more that you may not know. Like I mentioned in the previous video, if you've been playing guitar for a long time, then you may already be familiar with these chords. But even if you are an experienced player, these might be new to you. So let's zoom in on the neck and take a look at how to play these chords. Just like in the last video, these chords are also based out of E major. So this first chord we're gonna learn is an E major chord. So we're gonna play an E note on the A string, which is gonna be right here at the seventh fret. And then our ring finger is gonna play on the ninth fret, the next string down. And then our pinky finger directly below the ring finger. And it's those three notes, but the rest of the strings are all gonna ring open. So we get this sound. Now to get those open strings to ring, you wanna make sure that you've got a good curl around to your fingers. So you're playing just with your fingertips so that your fingers aren't laying too flat and muting out those higher strings. You wanna make sure you get a good angle. So you may have to adjust your wrist a little bit push it out a little bit more in order to get that good curl to your fingers. So I'm calling that chord an E major chord. Now technically it would be an E5 chord uh, because there's no third in this chord, these notes that we're playing. So it's not technically uh, a major chord or a minor chord, but it has more of a major sound to it. So we're gonna refer to it as a E major chord. And we're gonna keep this same basic shape for all these chords. So these two fingers are actually not going to move at all. So they're gonna stay in that same position for all of these chords. The next chord is gonna be very similar to this one. We're just gonna take our index finger and move it down one fret. So a bit of a stretch here, so it's a little bit tricky. And now we're not gonna play this low E string. We're only gonna play the remainder of the strings. So usually what I try and do is use my index finger just to nudge up against that E string to keep it from ringing. So even if I do strum it, then it won't actually sound. So this chord sounds like this. You could think of this chord a couple of different ways, but I typically think of this as a B chord with a D sharp in the bass. So it's a real easy change from that E. Slide that one finger down to that D sharp. And again, the first chord, we're playing all six strings. The second one, we're gonna try and block that E string or just try and play those five strings. The next chord is a C sharp minor seven chord. So for this one, again, these two fingers are gonna stay right where they are and I'm just gonna move our middle finger up to this fret here. So that's the ninth fret on the E string. So we end up with that shape. Now this time, I actually do want this finger to lay a little bit flat because I want to block out this A string for this chord. I don't want that to be ringing right now. So for this one, I try and get my middle finger just to lay a little more flat so that it keeps this string from ringing. So now I'm gonna strum all six, but again, this one's blocked. So it's gonna sound like this. Now our next chord is gonna be a B chord, and all we're gonna do here is take our middle finger off and put our index finger down at the seventh fret on the E string. And I'm gonna do that same thing that I did last time where I'm gonna make this finger lay a little bit flat to keep that A string from ringing. And that one's gonna sound like this. Again, you could think of this chord in a couple of different ways, but basically this is a B sus four chord. This last chord is gonna be an A chord. And we're actually gonna leave this index finger in that same spot 
on that B note. But instead of playing it, we are going to just hold that because now what we want is this A string we want to ring because that's going to be our root note and we don't want this E string to ring. So we're just going to lightly rest that index finger on that E string just to keep it from ringing. But we want this A string to ring out. So again, you have to get a bit of a curl to that index finger, get it up and over the A string just to hold down that E string. So that A chord is going to sound like this. Now this A chord doesn't have a third in it either. So it's basically an A5 chord, but we're adding in a nine. When you put those chords together, you can come up with some nice sounding progressions. You don't have to play them in the same order that I did in the intro. You can mix them up and move them around and play different progressions and come up with different sounds. That's it for today. Hopefully you learned something from this. If you already knew these chords, let me know in the comments below or let me know if these are brand new to you. Hopefully they inspire you in your own music. If you like this lesson, then please click the like button, hit the subscribe button, check out our other videos and visit our website, studio33guitar.com for more lessons. Thanks for watching. See you next time.